Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Kazaha Kaza only tells you to sleep on top of him when you have a nightmare. He gets the idea because you have this kind of troublesome thing of always being so afraid of someone murdering him. Because so many people didn't like Kaza, and the nightmares frequently just featured him getting stabbed or hurt. So whenever he would wake up from those nightmares, he would want to sit up and look for him and feel his heartbeat and make sure that he's okay. And since he saw how panicked he would be, he felt bad and decided there was no better way than to solve this. Then by giving you no reason to worry at all, that's when he wrapped his arms around you and moved you to lay on top of him, kissing you softly and telling you that there is no way anyone can hurt him when you're protecting him like that. Honestly, you were blushing at first. It was kind of embarrassing and unusual, but with the way he was looking at you so lovingly, Calming you down with his hands running through your hair as you melted into such and fell asleep with a soft smile on your face. Albedo. Albedo's such a gentleman. And even better, he knows how to reassure you and make you feel better, no matter how awful things might seem. He can rationalize your fears and your thoughts, however negative they may be. He does try his best to wipe them away, no matter how hard it can be. So when you're having those sleepless nights, since you're an insomniac, Albedo knew that this was not normal and that he needed to help you. And besides you taking your medicine from time to time, he sometimes had some other interesting suggestions. Like, for example, this time where he told you to try sleeping on top of him. He actually did not give you a choice. All of a sudden, his arms were wrapped around you, and you were moved to lay on top of him. But, it was kind of nice. So were you really objecting to it? No, not at all. Your head went underneath his neck, and he could hold you close. Closing his eyes and the two of you, Soon falling into a peaceful slumber. Venti. Venti's literally adorable. And the only reason the two of you end up sleeping that way, without anything else and no planning at all, is because he's just kind of missing you and being so, so clingy. He didn't know when he got like this. But he usually was not that clingy. However... It might be a tribute to the fact that he kind of had a lot to deal with and barely had any time to spend with you. So that was mainly why he was acting this way. In your opinion, it was very fair. You would act clingy too. Especially if you were working with such stressful matters. You did miss him. So that's why he didn't object when he wrapped his arms around you and refused to let go. And all of a sudden, he had moved on top of him, and when he found the blushing, he giggled, telling you that he was not going to move. He was just going to hold you like a city bear, and now you were going to help him sleep. It did work, and he slept, and though it took you some time as well, but you did end up falling asleep. So it wasn't like this was a completely selfish plan. Because it worked out for both of you. Tonari. Tonari is literally an angel. And the reason why he does this is because your back hurts like hell. And it's kind of injured. So sleeping on it would be really bad for you. That's why, since he knows you move a lot in your sleep, he offered to do this. So it would be painful a little bit when you woke up and you would be feeling sore. But you can sacrifice that. 
since it would be not good at all if you laid on your back. He had wrapped his arms around you, and you had Charlie curled up on his chest. As you held your body close to his, kissing your forehead, and telling you that this is the least he could do for you, especially as your boyfriend. And after knowing that you need this, he's not some scummy boyfriend. He could just care less about sleep. He tried his absolute best to make sure his hands didn't touch your back. And since he didn't move that much in his sleep, it wasn't that much of a difficult task. And thankfully, you were more still and didn't end up injuring yourself or anything. So his plan was indeed a success. It went perfectly. And you didn't have to feel the pain that would be very, very immense in the morning if he hadn't helped with this. Shao. Shao is kind of shy about this. But since you're clinging to him and you will not let go, he kind of realizes that he has not a choice, not a single one. So he's helpless. And that's why... When he's just laying down, and you go curl up on top of him, with your arms wrapped around him tightly, and you kiss him all over his face and making him blush, it's kind of inevitable. And when he asks you to get up, you're just simply like, No, Shao, I'm not. We're cuddling now, and I'm also feeling kind of sleepy, so I guess you're just gonna have to put up with me. Why on? We can't sleep like this. Who says we can't? I say we can. Maybe it's you who doesn't want to? He said accusingly, with a teasing lull to your voice. But then, he just let out a huff, knowing there was no wedding against you. So he just sighed, defeated, and resigned. Fine then. I guess we can make do tonight. He did end up sleeping very well, and though it was more of a nap than a full night's sleep, it was amazing, and you had some really good dreams too. Meanwhile, Xiao just admired you, and watched you for the most part, before succumbing to sleep himself. Don't blame him, he wasn't really that sleepy. You were the one who wanted to slack off.